guys, Victoria from Creative2 here again, uh, giving you another tutorial on uh, just how to customize Divi, um, your Divi theme. And today I'm going to show you how to use the endless uh, amounts of Google Fonts in uh, your uh, Divi uh, Builder. Now, um, as you can tell, if, if I was to go in and uh, I have something set up really quickly here, guys, um, it's not the prettiest, but it's going to show you um, exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so if I go in, um, you'll see, I'm just going to go into this blurb here. Uh, if I go to design and then I go down and let me find some text, you know, the header. Uh, so if I, if I go here to the header font, um, you'll see that you have options like Google font options, but you don't have all of them okay guys you only have a few options here and I'm going to show you actually how you can use um, whatever Google font that you like all right guys so let's get into it so the first thing we want to do is we want to head over to fonts.google.com and we want to choose the fonts that we do want to use so um, let me choose something that's not uh, available through um, through Divi uh, let's see let's use just for the heck of it, let's use, hmm, I guess this is the only problem, guys, is having to choose a font. Let's, let's use April Fatface. Let's use that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that over to a uh, family. So now that family is selected, so I'm able to use that. And for, just for the heck of it, I'm going to, pick um, just like a, a font that I can use just for paragraphs so let's see I'll use this uh, Archibo narrow okay let's add that on there okay so now I have two families selected and uh, if you click on this it's going to show you um, some code that you have to put in guys so we're going to go ahead and say um, embed this font so we're going to click here and copy that over and we're actually going to put this into the head of our HTML document. So in our case, we're going to go over here, over here to Divi and then theme options. And I'm just going to leave there. It's fine. <clears throat> and then we're going to head over to integration and make sure that uh, enable header code, body code, just make sure those are enabled because then you're not going to see it. But right here it says add code to the head of your blog. Let's go ahead and paste. And now we're going to save changes. Done. Okay, guys. So now let's go over to um, the page. Now, here's here's a cool trick, guys. So say you do want to use um, certain fonts, right, uh, within, like, say, the theme customizer, right? But you, you just want to use these Google fonts on certain pages, like selective pages. So I just want to use, you know, the two fonts that I, that I just picked. On, on the home page. So I'm going to copy and paste that over. And where you go for this, guys, this is the trick. You go up here to this like little hamburger, these three little lines right here, and you're going to click it. That's your settings panel. It's going to pop up. And now it allows you to add, add custom CSS just to that page, that individual page. So for me, in my case, I want to add uh, these fonts specifically to um, uh, this home page. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that code. Okay. So I'm going to paste the specifying CSS. So I'm going to use the following CSS rules to specify these families and I'm going to put it into the Divi Builder settings and now what we what we have to do is go ahead and add uh, you know I want uh, the font family April font face to be specifically for the heading one right so header ones and I'm going to add bracket and then I'm going to go down here this is the only thing that sucks about this guys hopefully they improve this over time but um, and then I'll go ahead and add another bracket there. So now I'm telling, uh, you know, the Divi theme that uh, I want all heading ones to be April fat face. And then um, for this, the Archival Narrow, I'm going to go ahead and say for the paragraphs, I want it to just use this font. So let's go ahead and just add that. And then we click save. All right, guys, so now that it's saved, I'm going to go ahead and add just a, a standard section here. Um, so excuse how fast I'm going, but I'm going to go ahead and add a text module. And I'm going to uh, give this like, 
hey, welcome to our website. Um, yeah, you don't want to do that, guys, but uh, just an example. And then I'm going to give this a uh, heading one, right? And then I'm going to save. And I'm just going to, just for the heck of it, I'm just going to put another text module so that you can uh, see how it works. So now, because uh, I, I told this page that I also wanted to use paragraphs. So um, let's see. Um, this is my web page, and you're going to love it. <laughs> All right, excuse how lazy I am on this, guys. All right, so um, so now we have a header here, and then we have text here. Let's go ahead and preview. And if you go down, ta-da, it's using uh, the, uh, what was it called? Oh, Lord. Uh, a April fat face. I wanted to call it April. Uh, it's using April fat face for heading one, and it now it's using the Archibald narrow for paragraphs. Okay, guys. So it's as easy as that. It's easy. It's not very difficult to do this. Now, if you wanted to set these fonts specifically for all, like your entire web page, what I would do is I would grab this code. I would head over. I wouldn't put it to the individual page, so you wouldn't go into settings here. You'd go to Divi. And then you'd go to Thema Options, right? And then you would go over to <clears throat> your custom CSS for the entire theme. All right, guys, so you're going to head over down here. So again, you're going to go over to General and then go down. And then you're going to paste it here. And now this is where you would put, you know, I want heading one to have, uh, excuse me, to have April fat face and then you'd go in here and I said and then I, if you want the paragraphs to be Archibald you go P right for paragraph and then and then you would click save and now these would be site wide changes okay so I hope you found this um, tutorial very beneficial for you and I hope that you implement it I hope I did a good job explaining it and I will give you more customization um, Divi tricks in the next upcoming weeks again my name is Victoria from creative 2 make sure to follow and subscribe